I'm never short of toys to play with around here anyway. Right, so we got ourselves a 96 Lancer to play with. Now, to be honest, the car is complete right off. There's loads of stuff wrong with it. It's never going to go back in the road. But being a Saturday afternoon, there's always space for messing before it goes to the scrapyard. Now, there's absolutely loads of videos on YouTube where someone gets an old car, drains the oil out of it, starts it up and runs it flat out for a minute and it seizes up. And to be honest, that gets a bit boring after a while. Of course it's going to seize up if you run it flat out. What I want to see is how long will this car run with no oil in it, at a normal rev, about 3,500 revs. So how long will this thing run for with no oil in it? You can see I have the rocker cover off there, so everything's actually nice and clean in there, there's no signs of any wear uh, on the camshaft or any of the, the followers there. So I have the sump off as well, you can see the crankshaft in there, and the connecting rods you can I'm not sure if you can see the pistons, it's, it's not much light in here. But uh, that's off it there. A little bit worried maybe that exhaust is running a bit close to that, but there's not much oil around. That's where the sump strainer goes on there, just took that off in order to get the sump off. So uh, I'll leave the oil filter on it. There's no oil in it, so I'll have to be drained into that pot there. Leave it run for that. Leave it run at that speed for a little while. I expected anyway. Right, see what she start again now. Doesn't sound very good. So there you are, that's what actually happens when an engine has no oil in it. There's nothing dramatic normally happens, there's no explosions or anything like that or pistons coming out through the block. I knew that wouldn't happen. An engine just dies off because it gets harder and harder to turn it and eventually just stops. You get loads of smoke, you get a smell of burning and a serious lack of power obviously. And if you didn't figure out that your engine was going to seize before it actually seized, well then you're in it. It's interesting to have a look at the crankshaft, how dry everything is up there. But also on this piece of timber that I put down to catch any oil, uh, there's loads of little filings on it. Let me see where is there. There's one there And that's actually metal filings from the bearings from the other uh, big ends I suppose or, or main bearings or something like that and the whole sheet is actually covered to that plus the oil that came out of it